Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Now this video is not for those of a nervous disposition. Uh, you'd have seen the title, The Terrible Guilty Secret That Lurks at the Heart of My Record Collection. I figured I've been on the VC a fair while now, made some good friends, I think we can all trust each other, <clears throat> no one's going to point any fingers, so I'm going to make a confession, I'm going to show you something uh, which I don't generally show people that know I'm into records, and uh, like I said, if you're if you're of a nervous disposition, uh, I, would, I would look away now, okay, I'm going to lift something into shot, uh, and, then I'll, uh, and then I'll talk about it, here we go. And the back cover. Okay, so what's the story here? When I was 10 years old, my father revealed a small but perfectly formed record collection of kind of pop and rock records, this being one of them. Uh, I was 10 at the time, and as far as I was concerned, um, if you were in a band and made records, you should put the name of your band on the record. You know, Squeeze did it, uh, Wings did it, Queen did it. Pink Floyd didn't do it, but for some reason, there was something about this record that made me think, no, this, this needs to have the band's name. So I took it upon myself to write the name, but what's worse is I didn't plan ahead, okay? So you can see here, I wrote, I started to write uh, Led Zeppelin. I got as far as Led Zeppelin and realized I'd come to the end of my sticker. So I then had to write the in part on a separate sticker and then put that on at the end, giving me uh, Led Zeppelin there. Now I also gave the album a title. Now I don't recall I think, I think I called it Picture Frame. Anyway, I stuck that on there. Later on, I had second thoughts and uh, peeled it off, thus uh, getting a very, very nasty tear down here. Now, on the back, I, I didn't know anything about Led Zeppelin at all, but I looked them up in, um, in my school library. There was a book, it was a kind of like a illustrated guide to rock or something. So I went and I looked up the band names, I found out who they all were, I wrote them on in biro with the instrument they played, not on a sticker though interestingly. I then used a pair of stickers uh, to write the song titles and then down here I in red I wrote the words Led Zeppelin, Atlantic Records, 1971 produced by Jimmy Page, Kinney Music. Okay, now this, this is an original, as far as I'm aware, this is an original pressing uh, of Led Zepp 4, bought by my dad, probably the year it came out, as a gift for my mother. I didn't ruin the inside, and the good news is I didn't ruin the record. The record is actually pristine. Uh, I keep it, I bought the 180 gram reissue a while ago, and I keep the record from this in the same, uh, in the same sleeve as that, so... Uh, the, the, so I do have a pristine record um, original pressing, but of course the cover is completely knackered. Now for a long time I, I really wanted to get hold of uh, um, a new cover for this, you know, I wanted to buy one so I could have the record in its own jacket rather than being in the 180 gram reissue one. And I used to do, you know, I used to go onto eBay and look around hoping that somebody would be selling just the cover, you know, never found one. And then amazingly a few months ago I was... Uh, digging through a bin of records in a charity shop at my local university and amazingly I came across this an absolutely pristine jacket for Led Zeppelin 4 uh, containing the original inner sleeve which my dad's copy has long since lost I probably made a paper aeroplane out of it. Um, and this was on sale in the charity shop for the princely sum of £2. But there was no record inside it. So I took it to the counter and there was a little old lady behind the counter. And I said to her, are you aware that there's no record in here? And she said, oh, I'm terribly sorry. And I said, no, no, it's okay because um, I'd like to buy it anyway. 
And she said, why? And I said, I, I just want it. And she said, uh, oh, no, I couldn't possibly sell you that. Give it to me and we'll go through it in the bin. And she tried to take it off me and there was like an actual tussle. I was trying to, I was like, no, no, I'll take it, you know. And uh, she wouldn't charge me two pounds for it. I said, I'll give you 50p for it. And she said, OK, fine. So I put 50p in the tin uh, and was able to walk out of the shop. Uh, finally, after all these years, with a nice clean copy uh, of the jacket of Led Zeppelin IV to replace this one. But of course, this will always stay in my collection uh, as a kind of uh, towering testimony to my old 10 year old self's foolishness. I'd be very interested to know if anybody else out there has any dark and guilty secrets like this uh, that they fancy showing. This was my one. And now that I've done it, I do feel better about it. So I hope you enjoyed that video, folks. This is my old copy, my dad's old copy uh, of Led Zeppelin IV, and at least we now know who the band is. Thanks for watching.